Hello, this is David about October working a practice question from CFA exam level one. The concept is time value of money under quantitative methods, which is a basic concept in CFA level one. After I read the question, what I'd like you to do is pause the video, see if you can get the answer yourself. The question is, if the client invests $100,000 in a bank account with stated annual interest rate of 7%, how much does the client have in that account after or at the end of three years if we assume quarterly compounding and a bonus if you can compute the answer under continuous compounding. Go ahead, pause the video. Okay, first I'll show it in Excel and then quickly in the calculator. And here we'll use some typical notation. 100,000 here is invested today. So that's the present value, typically abbreviated PV and corresponding to the calculator keystroke PV. R here is our interest rate of 7% per annum. So keep in mind that's a stated, sometimes called nominal interest rate, not to be confused with. It's different than the effective annual rate or yield. N is the number of years. So that also corresponds to the calculator keystroke. Here we have three years. I'm sorry, at the end of three years. Now, here's one that trips up new learners sometimes. Notice we absolutely do need to know that the compounding is quarterly. We need the compound frequency because there are different answers to this question based on the compound frequency. We've been told quarterly, and K is very typical to indicate the compound frequency or how many periods per year this money is compounding. Quarterly is four. If this were monthly, we would use 12. We could use annual. It would be one. I'm going to stay with quarterly. Then we have what we need to compute the future value. And in Excel, we would put in, per the future value function, the rate. But we're compounding quarterly, so we want to divide it by four. The number of periods, that's going to be our three years. But we similarly want to multiply that by four because it's quarterly compounding. We have a payment input. That would be if the client were on a quarterly basis also adding money to the account, but that's not the case here. So we use a zero. And then the present value, we put a negative sign here in front of the 100,000 to represent the outflow. That's cash out of the client into the account. And we can close that with parens and see that under this discrete quarterly compounding, 100,000 at the end of three years grows to 123,143.93. And then per that bonus question, hopefully a CFA candidate must be able to do this too. You know that we can compound continuously by simply taking that PV and multiplying by the exponential of the rate multiplied by the three years. And as that continuous compounding is the most frequent, we would expect a slightly higher number. If we put that money to work more frequently, we're going to get a higher value. So hopefully you got the same answer. And now I'm going to show you that computation also with the Hewlett Packard 12C calculator because in the exam you wouldn't have Excel. And just like with the Texas Instruments BA2+, Plus, these bond math keys are five keys on one row all together. The basic process is always the same. We generally need to input four and solve for the remaining fifth variable. In this case, we're going to solve for the future value. So I'm just going to work left to right as much as possible. And I'll start with the N. So we had three years, but we're compounding quarterly. So we're going to multiply by four. And then 12 is going to be our end, so there's 12 compounding periods, really. Then our interest rate here is 7%, but we're compounding quarterly, so we need to divide that by 4 and use that for the interest rate I. Now that present value is 100,000. And just like we did in Excel, we want to change the sign there to negative, represent the outflow, and use that for the present value. And their client is not making interim contributions or payments, so we're going to use zero for payment. And all we need to do is hit the future value key that's computed for us. You'll notice it matches exactly. And really, that's it. This is David Harper, The Bonic Turtle. Thank you for your time.